Kristen Oviedo, and this is how a galaxy is a Fibonacci sequence. So a galaxy is not directly a Fibonacci sequence. It's actually one step away from being a close approximation to a Fibonacci spiral. So if that sounds a little confusing, let me show you. So a Fibonacci sequence is a recurring pattern of numbers and the pattern itself is really, really simple. Um, you basically take the two numbers that you're dealing with initially and you add them and whatever they add up to, you write that number down next. And then you do that same thing again, but this time with the second two numbers. So one plus one is two. So then of course, if we add these two, we get three. And if we add these two, we get five. And if we add these two, we get eight. And we could go on forever doing that, but we'll stop at eight. So if you decide to take these numbers and build a series of squares next to each other that have these as the squares length of side, then you will get what's called a Fibonacci spiral. So I've already started this one. Obviously we don't have a zero side length square. So I started with one and then I put another one side length square next to it. And then stacked on top of that, I did two. So now I'm gonna do three but these two sides add up to three, so I can just stick the three square right here. But then of course, this side and these two add up to five, so then this side will be my new bigger square. And then I'm gonna keep going, so I'm gonna have five, six, seven, eight, which is our next number here. So make that into a giant square. So now we're going to start where we began initially with these squares and we're just going to draw a little quarter circle through each square. A little quarter circle there and there and then finally we'll end it with a big quarter circle there. So you can see how I made kind of a jagged spiral and again it's not a perfectly smooth spiral but this is known as the Fibonacci spiral, and there are a lot of things in nature that mimic this shape. So again, this spiral is found all over the place in nature. I'm sure at some point you've seen or heard of some examples of it in nature. Obviously galaxies, or at least spiral galaxies, uh, will exhibit a curve very similar to this. Um, rams horns, nautilus shells, a lot of different plants. Um, so the way that uh, ferns uncurl themselves as they're growing, for example, and um, it's not hard to find many, many different examples of spirals in nature, but it's important to remember that they don't follow this curve exactly, but it's still a pretty good approximation. So I'm Kristen Oviedo, and that is how a spiral galaxy is a Fibonacci sequence.